those are our spices. They're gone after the first few weeks at sea and all you have left is salt. Now, say you woke up in the morning, you're working on the pirate ship, you woke up and you're hungry. You're ready to come for breakfast. This is what you get for breakfast, a nice big bowl full of burgoo. Who has had burgoo? Raise your hands, I know you have. Everybody's had burgoo. I've had this before. Everybody has had burgoo before. It starts, at, look, look, I, trust me, you've had it, all right? This is where, this is how you make it. You start off with these, you get these on a farm here. These are for touching and looking. You can look at them and touch them and play with them. And uh, you start off with this. And, and, and what we do is we take those and we grind them up into a real fine powder like this. Does this look more familiar? What does that look like? Oatmeal. Yeah, yeah, we call it burgoo. All right, so we don't, now you might at home, you might have that fancy yummy oatmeal, maybe the one that's got the apples and cinnamon in it, or maybe it's got little dinosaur eggs and when you pour the water on it, it turns into a dinosaur marshmallow or something. I don't know. We didn't have that. So we took our burgoo, what is burgoo? Oatmeal. So we took our burgoo and we poured molasses in it, a little bit of molasses. That's where we get this. It's a little dried out now, it's been out all day, but it's oatmeal and it's got molasses on it. And the molasses is sweet. You guys had molasses before? Yes, you have. It's in your baking. You just don't know it yet. You had, you had cake before? Yeah. So, uh, this, this, uh, this burgoo, we pour molasses on it. It tastes like syrup. So, you like pancakes? Pancakes? You like pancakes? Yeah, you like syrup on your pancakes? So imagine plain oatmeal with a whole bunch of syrup poured into it. It's really sweet, it's very yummy. That's what our sailors had for breakfast. So, you come, you wake up, oh, I'm hungry, oh, I need to go to the couch. You get a portion of burgoo, and you would get a pound of bread to get you through the day. That's four biscuits. And these are the ship's biscuits. Who has seen the movie Pocahontas? Here, don't be scared, you can touch it. Who, who has seen the movie Pocahontas with the little Disney version with the, yeah, yeah, you guys have seen it? So, you know that part where the raccoon is running around and he's stealing all the biscuits out of the ship and stuffing them in his mouth? That's what these are. These are ship's biscuits. They're very fresh. They're very fresh. <laughs> These are real. I cooked them two years ago. There's no mold on them. No mold, no insects. And that was the idea. They were baked and it's salt and flour and water. And you would basically get a tiny bit of water, a lot of flour, a lot of salt. You make it up into like a Play-Doh-like substance. You mash it out. And then you get your little hole poker. And you poke some holes in it. You put it in the oven for two to three hours, and when it's done, you pull it out, you let it cool. You go to bed, you wake up the next day, you put it back in the oven, and you do it again. And these got cooked two or three or even four times in the oven. And it gets all of the water out of it, and this becomes a biscuit. And this was your emergency ration of the day. This was your MRE. So. They are very fresh, and they could last weeks, months, and yes, they will even last years on a ship if you keep them stored properly and keep the bugs out of them. So, you got your burgoo for breakfast. You got four biscuits to put in your haversack to last you for the day, and when you, you would be sent off to work on the ship, you'd go to work on the ship, and when you were working on the ship, you got thirsty. The sun's out, it's hot, it's time to get a drink. You were allowed, you were given a ration. Your ration on the ship, depending on which navy you were sailing with, was roughly about a gallon of beer per day. Per sailor. That's not counting the amount of rum the captain gives you a ration of. So, or grog, yeah. So, we'll get to grog later. So, 
Anyway, what you would do is you take your biscuit out, you got your ration of beer because you got thirsty, you take your biscuit out, you put it in your beer, and you let it get all soggy and you eat it. Now, once the work is done and you're tired and you're ready to wind down for the day, you come back to the galley and say, oh, hey, cook, I'm hungry. You say, all right, well, we're making stew. So, and the meals, the meals change, but this is what today's meal is. And for today, we cook stew for the crew. Now, we could have, we could have stew that was prepared with either pork or beef, but say we're running low on supplies on the ship. If we're running low on supplies, we could pull from the sea. And we would pull here in the Chesapeake Bay, in the York River, the James River, whichever side of the rivers you're on, it's the Chesapeake Bay. You've got catfish, croaker, oysters, crabs, but say we're having a bad day and we don't even catch any of that. We can go down to the bottom of the ship and we can catch one of these little fellas. So we catch one of these little fellas, we'll put them into the stew, we'll tell the crew they're having chicken stew for dinner, they'll never know the difference. So, now the most important thing to remember when you're cooking for a bunch of hungry pirates, I don't know who you entertain, I'm not sure what your usual company is, but if you're ever lucky enough to entertain fine, upstanding gentlemen, always have your pistol or your sword on either end of the counter you never know which way you'll have to duck because everybody on this crew thinks they're food critics. So, with that being said, thank you for your time. That's basically lunch, breakfast, dinner, and what we would be doing on ship. Uh, different festivals. I will have something different. And, and if you come to Blackbeard Festival in 2022, I will actually be there, and I will be preparing food on site as if I was on ship. And you will actually get to see the different meals being prepared.